everyone welcome back to another unboxing for a cleaning product this is the i like shine pot w450 and i'm super excited because i like keeping uh keeping my place clean and we are gonna get into this so i'm super excited about this because um this is a mop but it's super cool because it has a brush that spins and then a squeegee that like scrapes up little stuff and then a water tank that is supposed to hold all of this so it's not like you know if i had gotten like one of those two-in-one um vacuum mops that just basically has a little microfiber cloth that just wipes everything um and just i feel like that's doesn't really do too much it just like wipes whereas this kind of gives a little scrubbing action and um some more water and i'll show you later but yeah um in this box you're gonna get you know your remote two triple a batteries um the dock and the uh, power cord that goes to the dock an extra rolling brush and a little cleaning brush to clean I don't know I haven't used it yet I guess inside the little hole cleaning solution the manual warranty cards and what I think um, is cool is that they actually sent an extra brush um, so that should be cool um, one thing I will say off the top don't expect this to be super smart it does have a camera on the top which is the little hole you see there um which i'll show you is useful with the app um and navigating but it does have a bumper on the front and it does not um charge itself so what basically you're gonna just expect to um to, like lift it in and out of that dock that you see on the floor um, basically just like I'm doing now um, but it will return or it should return back to the point of origin so wherever you lift it up out of the dock and start it once it's complete doing its little area it should return back to that point you're just gonna have to look it up um, lick it up <laughs> lift it up and put it back on the dock so that the little connectors can actually meet the charging port on it um so yeah this is just the manual you can pause it um i'm gonna use that page where you see the qr code to download the app and i'll show you how to set it up on there but um yeah um you can pause it if you want and go back so this is me going to the app it's super simple you just press it it brings up the iLife home um app it's um i don't know why it has such bad ratings it's probably because i does have like a few glitches but not with the machine just like the app like um i'll show you later like when i'm setting up it like failed to connect to wi-fi and then i had to like go through this um well starting from here i had to start from here a second time um because it said it didn't connect to my wi-fi but after that it was super fine i haven't had a problem since but yeah you just click on your model which is the w450 and then it says press and hold the mode button until the you hear the starting wi-fi pairing so it's super simple to follow um and then you put in your wi-fi network and password And then after that, it's going to say, um, connect to like, um, the actual mops Wi-Fi network. So just going to your settings and it's going to start with like an ADH. See, this is the error, the glitch that I was talking about. But yeah, once you go back and put in your password again, um, and you find, you know, your MOPS ADH, you know, Wi-Fi network. Then it says connected. And then that's the part where you could rename it. I just renamed it to ShineBot. And um, this is why I actually wanted to use the app. is because it shows you the cleaning area, the actual distance and time. 
and also the battery you can also change the water settings the brush speed the travel speed so it's pretty cool um and then i'll show you you can see like where it is in the house too um and yeah so for me i just play around with these your battery it will last a long time i'll say that you'll probably run out of water before you do battery but i started off with 50 percent but actually i put it up now to like i think 90 percent i have my brush on like 100 percent and then i have the travel speed on like 80 so that it um uses more time with the spinning brush to like get up a stain but yeah um once you do that also down there by where you see the um cleaning progress you can change it to pass one or two or three times um there's also a drying setting um underneath that um it does a pretty good job sucking up the water so i'll show you later but yeah you can see it moving um here on the app it does not save the okay. map so i am ready to uh fill this up for the first time so i'm gonna first i'm gonna take this plastic off okay and then we're gonna release this and Okay, so holding it this way, it says pull out the filter, 30, 10 cleaning steps, wash inside, wash filter. Okay, and then this is the minimum filter, so add water. It says open cap, please do not add detergent, distilled or purified water to clean water tank, which is weird. I wonder why distilled or purified water would, wouldn't be better than tap, but okay. And then it fill to minimum water level. After filling water, erect the water tank to ensure that the water volume exceeds the minimum level. Okay, so let's do exactly that. We're going to put run the water but not too much so that we can watch it okay that definitely is exactly at the minimum but let me put a little bit more okay well that's too full so okay i let a little bit out and then they say to add a cap full of the cleaner i hope this smells good if not we're gonna have a problem Come on. This is gonna bend my nail back. <laughs> but it's on. Okay, finally, I'm getting some traction. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not definitely something I would wanna smell. <laughs> so maybe I'll do a good job cleaning. It smells like, I don't know, bathroom cleaner or something. But whatever. It's not strong, but it just smells like, you know, that soap that's always in the public bathrooms that you don't want? <laughs> that's what it smells like. And there's so much water in here that I can't even, like, get it in there. Okay, let's see. Let's put this soap down so that I have two hands. I'm gonna pour out some more water. Good. And now we have some room. Okay. That was very messy. But let's add a little bit more because. Okay, perfect. We're gonna rinse this. Oh, it does leather. Uh oh. Hope that's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I hope that's not a problem because it does say if it is too soapy then it'll be a problem, but whatever. Also, the cleaning instructions is here. They want you to clean the filter and wash inside every time. We'll see how much water this uses and how long it takes to clean. Okay. And then, hey, you just put the water tank back, like how you found, oh, yeah, actually, before I put that tank back, they say to saturate the brush so that it cleans properly, so. All right. Brush it is saturated and ready to go. I'm gonna just squeegee that down so it's not dripping on my counter. And yeah, let's see. Okay, brush is wet. And it says that this can be operated by the app, which I should probably go do now, but my phone is dying, but I'll still try to do it. Um, it doesn't have to be. I think I could just press the buttons, actually. But, um, because I don't think it saves a map anyways, so. I wonder if it, I should even waste the last couple of battery I have on it. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just see how it works. Okay, so right now, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, maybe not. Okay, we're just going to press the button to clean. Start auto cleaning. And you can press the modes here. Um, that first one is zigzagging. So it should, it should work smartly and clean. And the dog is, of course, putting footprints. Good. Oh, good. It's not. 
Oh, just like a thorough job of um, turning around with the bumper and the camera. So that's cool. Oh, it looks like it's doing a perimeter. Oh no, it's just getting on track. Cool. So I don't have the settings set. I just literally have it on whatever it's doing because I didn't download the app. So it's actually leaving the floor. It's kind of wet. Move. Thank you. <laughs> this dog. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, where are you? Oh dear. We might need to dial back this water usage, huh? Oh, okay. I think it's going like this. So, it would have gone this way had this chair not been in the way, but instead of like turning around this way, it's probably gonna go that way. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll see. What I'm interested in is to see if it'll go in this area road, but it looks like I'll just go until it reaches wherever it needs to go. Oh, it's not going all the way. It turned around. That's interesting. This, this doesn't map. It doesn't save a map. It just uses the camera. It does have a thing to use the remote control though, so. Maybe we'll change the water. I don't know. Maybe we'll turn down the water. But I think it's reasonable, no? We'll see. Okay, so um, right here when I initially um, tested this, it did a good job with avoiding the carpet, but like um, another day I put it in the hallway and it actually went on the carpet and just like got stranded um, because it has a sensor on the bottom of it. Um, so I would recommend getting like, if you don't have an area rug like this that's like high up and you have like just a seamless transition like that, get like the transition um what do they call it you know the little strips get the transition strip so that um which is what i'm gonna do eventually so i don't have to close the doors or you could close the doors that works too all right but yeah so i finally have some stains that i want to see if it gets up good this is plant soil like juice that overflowed from the saucer and from like three pots so those are pretty bad stains um i usually have to put a little bit of elbow grease in when i mop regularly so this should be a good test to see how efficient this little guy is because it does have a squeegee on the back so it doesn't like drag it everywhere but we'll see i forgot to show the remote too i can also control it too if i want it to go back over um and it was i wasn't recording like when I first started cleaning, I did it manually, so I didn't use the app, so it wasn't tracking it. So I don't know, maybe I'll wait another day to do it and time it and everything because right now it's basically been going for like almost two hours and I think it was about to be done. And then it went on like one of the carpets. Okay, so earlier back when I was saying like it got stranded on the carpet, it kind of looked like this, like whenever you pick it up or it stops and and it's like, um, like there's a problem, you'll see that clean thing turn red and I didn't know what to do at first. So I just pressed the mode or the clean button again and then it literally erased the, all of the progress on the app, which was really frustrating. So there's no way that it resumes, it just literally starts and then makes you know the map and everything but if it like messes up it will start from the beginning and try to do everything over so that's
kind of sucky, but for the price, it is efficient. Like, as you see, like, um, it did get up the stain, but, like, I would say maybe, like, 10 or, like, 8 passes. I'm, like, probably being very uh, generous, but you can manually operate it. Just don't press the clean button. Just sit it on the ground and then just move the arrows on either on the app or on this remote and you see like you can go forwards and backwards you can do whatever you want just don't press the mode or the cleaning but yeah okay, is this a stain no that's just stone maybe if i go over and back on this Okay, this is gonna be such a fail. I don't even know if I feel like redoing this video. <laughs> I can't believe I screwed up. I didn't know how to work it, but whatever. Maybe I'll redo it, because it will be, or maybe I'll in redo it and include how I'm feeling right now. See, I don't like how it just turns off like that. Like, I should be able to move it back. Start area cleaning. Cleaning paused. Whatever. Start auto cleaning. Cleaning finished. Start area cleaning. do the auto clean another day and come back and see how long it takes but as far as its efficiency i think i'm happy with it <laughs> i just wanted to time it for my own needs but i guess you guys don't need that <laughs> you just need to know if it works yes it did if you're not a knucklehead and like screw up the auto process and pair it with your app before you use it manually and press the buttons <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna empty it out. You lift it up like that. This is the clean water tank on the top and this is the dirty water tank. That water, or this is the dirty water tank. That water, you can already see, looks super like what my water would normally look like, dirty. <laughs> there it is inside. So I'm doing it over the toilet because I hate when I see people on YouTube uh, empty out dirty water in their sink that like gives me the creeps. So this should be easy, um, I think. Yeah, we just unlatch it like that. And we're just gonna pour it down the toilet. That was easy. Ew. That is all the dirt from outside for one week. I kept the floor extra. Well, I vacuumed, of course, beforehand because this doesn't vacuum, it just mops. But, um, yeah. So I'm gonna close that back up. Perfect. Easy. Look at that. Horrible. 
Okay. Oh. And it also says to uh, get rid of the clean. It also says to get rid of the clean water too. But I'm gonna keep that in there because secretly I'm gonna mop another day. <laughs> this week, maybe the day after tomorrow. And it also says to pull out this filter and to wash it and then add water, open the cap. Oh, it says to wash inside. Yeah, we're gonna secretly keep the water in here for another <laughs> um, wash. I could wash out this um, dirty filter though, but mm, I'm gonna see if it lasts uh, once a week. I will clean the squeegee off because that's what's been sucking, uh, that's what's been moving everything. And since I have dog hair, uh, sometimes that just lingers around, you see like that. I would advise you to uh, wipe off like where the sucker is here, like uh, in the brush, just to make sure nothing in there is trapped. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say this is going to be awesome. It's definitely okay price. They have like a coupon where it's like two sixty, I think, on Amazon. So yeah, if anything, um, I will update this video. Thank <laughs> you.